Many activities in our daily lives depend on prevailing and future weather conditions. In the past 10 to 15 years, significant advancements have been made in weather forecasting and warning systems that allow for, among other things, a greater ability to plan for the weather. These advances are due to modern computer and information technologies, as well as enhancements and refinements made to physical and dynamical aspects of meteorological models. Forecasts are produced by solving equations at grid points, which are created by dividing the atmosphere into cells. Horizontal spaces are regular, while those in the vertical are divided into smaller sets near the surface. Vertical cell spaces are also smaller than horizontal spaces, since the conditions change much more rapidly in the vertical than in the horizontal. A major difficulty is in the definition of average conditions for each of the surface model grid cells, since these characteristics vary in reality over much smaller scales. Each meteorological model produces forecasts by solving a variety of equations that are derived from fundamental physical laws, conservation of mass, conservation of momentum, and conservation of thermal energy. These equations strongly interact with each other. For example, a change in thermal energy will change atmospheric density, and this change will in turn induce pressure differences. The equations are solved by starting from the assumed initial conditions based on all available observations at the time, and using these equations to predict how the variables will change at each grid point and at each point in time. For reliable predictions in complex terrain, Modelers try to use finer grid resolutions within the bounds of available computer power. Also, specific atmospheric features, such as convergence motions, which are smaller than the resolution of present meteorological model grids, are not well predicted by conventional meteorological models. Thus, modern meteorological models can anticipate changes in weather patterns a few days in advance, for very local weather events arising in a short period of time like thunderstorms, however, it is in most cases only possible to specify the exact position and intensity of the event zero to six hours in advance. This forecasting methodology is called nowcasting. It combines observational data with information from meteorological models in order to get an exact and detailed image of the current weather and weather expected within the next few hours. Very short-range forecasting is one of the main tasks of several national meteorological services in the Central European area taking part in the development of the INCA forecasting system. This system is provided as part of the Central European project, INCA CE. Weather conditions and their development affect our daily lives in many circumstances. Road travel has become an essential component of daily life for many people throughout the world. However, the presence of difficult weather conditions, most notably during the winter, can have dramatic effects on road safety. Results from a new project funded by the EU, entitled Extreme Weather Impacts on European Networks of Transport, show that extreme weather conditions cost the EU's transport system at least 15 billion euros every year. The winter climate clearly necessitates a significant investment in the reliable prediction and subsequent prevention of snow and ice formation on roads. In winter road maintenance, INCA is used within the Road Weather Information System. The system is comprised of various components, road weather stations measuring atmospheric and road conditions along the roads, a communication system for data transfer, and a central system which processes observations from road weather stations. This system is used to develop nowcasts or forecasts and to display or disseminate road weather information in a format that can be easily interpreted by road maintenance staff in the winter. Thus, INCA facilitates the more efficient planning of preventative spreading which must be executed up to three hours before a snowfall event. Additionally, it supports de-icing measures. These measures are strongly connected to the type and concentration of salt used, as well as the optimal salt spreading time depending on the forecasted road surface temperature. Consequently, INCA contributes to the increased safety of drivers, the reduction of costs because of improved staffing organization and lower salt consumption, and the reduction of environmental damage from oversalting. The safety of people and households against impacts of floods plays a major role in hydrology. 
Large precipitation amounts in a concentrated location mostly occur in conjunction with thunderstorms, which can evolve rather quickly. Near a river or other water source, a heavy precipitation event can induce significant damages through flooding. In Central Europe, such flooding events can occur very often. This shows that for hydrologists and water management companies, high-resolution weather data are also of great importance in prevention and timely action taking. Hydrological modeling is usually limited to spatially bordered precipitation data. These limits are more significant in the summer season since rainfall that is highly concentrated and intense occurs very often and classic rain gauge stations can measure these changes only rarely. Inca precipitation fields may solve these spatial limits by complete spatial coverage of land. The Inca precipitation data used as input to hydrological models increase the potential of the hydrological forecasting system's ability to predict an extreme runoff event. Different approaches exist to model runoff events. For example, a flash flood potential map, which is a combination of natural parameters of watershed land represented by retention limits, can be prepared. For every watershed, some precipitation thresholds are determined, and should these thresholds be exceeded, hydrological warnings should be issued. The efficacy of all existing systems to model runoff events will increase if Inca precipitation fields are used, since hydrological warnings will be more timely. Meteorological data are important when they can be included into hydrological models and calculations. They enable us to project forthcoming hydrological events such as floods or lengthy dry seasons. Hydrology can benefit greatly from detailed and accurate meteorological forecasts in case of floodings, for example. If we have access to meteorological forecasts, we are in a position to take precautionary measures prior to floodings. This way, we can prevent physical damage and even life-threatening situations. Every summer, thousands of people take part in open-air activities such as music festivals or sporting events. Rapidly developing thunderstorms and thunderstorm systems can lead to stages collapsing or equipment malfunctioning, which can endanger all participants. Storms with winds exceeding 70 km per hour, which have the ability to produce minor or major damages, are common in Central Europe. The probability of severe gales with gusts of 100 km per hour is also high. Such storms are observed at least once a year at several places mainly next to lakes, at the seaside, and in mountainous areas. The organizers of open-air events therefore need accurate weather information for the timely canceling of an outdoor event, if necessary. Civil protection is one of the main end-users of meteorological information. Weather forecasts and warnings are regularly observed in dispatching centers. The simplified visualization of meteorological information reflecting the special requirements of this area allows for the immediate identification of dangerous situations. Additionally, the main information is often verbally provided to the dispatching centers in regular time intervals. Consequently, the dispatchers are aware of upcoming risk and can decide on the next steps within the warning procedure. The new Inca visualization plays an important role in dispatching centers as it delivers reliable weather information across borders and therefore improves the timely scheduling of actions. Regarding the daily work in warning and alarm centers as the Landessicherheitszentrale Burgenland, the permanent availability of exact meteorological information is essential. The more detailed the forecasts, Concerning the occurrence of damage, the more target-oriented are the alarming of operational performance and the handling of situation. Thus, our daily work depends a lot on both the timeliness and the accuracy of weather forecasts. The achievements thus far in the three presented applications, which included road safety, hydrology and civil protection, have been made possible by the Inca Central Europe project. It is an international project led by the Austrian Central Institute for Meteorology and Geodynamics. One goal is to identify the current warning situations against severe weather in each of these application areas in the different Central European countries. Thereafter, common requirements from the application areas can be deduced to improve the now casting system. Of course, this needs a very close collaboration between the now casting information providers and end users in crisis management. In the next step, 
The weather data resulting from the improved nowcasting system will be provided to respective end users of the application areas across the Central European countries. Visualization of several important weather parameters is also available to all residents of the Central European area through Inca CE web portal. The high resolution and reliable information of weather data should optimize the timely actions in each of the three application areas. Additionally, border domains, which have not often been well represented in the past, will now benefit from the cross-border exchange of information. The testing and evaluation of the integrated system in various case study analyses and pilot implementations enables further improvements in nowcasting and its applications. This will ensure a better understanding of the weather and provide continually enhanced predictions. The World Meteorological Organization is aware of the valuable potential of Inca CE and is supporting the project by aiding in the exchange of expertise and know-how across the globe. 